All right, good morning, Cypress Village residents. Welcome to Virtual Coffee Chat. My name's Ty Morgan, Executive Director, and thank you all for tuning in to our December 8th Friday episode. Always glad to have our resident uh, faithfuls in uh, Coffee Chat watching this morning, which won't be there because we're having our lovely holiday party. So uh, big day today here at Cypress Village, probably my favorite event, I would have to say. I do like the veterans event very much as well. But this event's just a little special in the way that we have employees and residents truly engaging um, on a personal basis, not that they don't while we're working and residents are living here, but a lot of the employees just come in to have breakfast and sit down and actually enjoy time with the residents and their colleagues and coworkers. So really, really great day here at the Village every year. So we are looking forward to all of our residents joining us between 6.30 and 10. If I got the times wrong, just come down. We'll feed you uh, somewhere around that time. But uh, really spend some time, you know, uh, hang out, have some coffee, and just, uh, you know, really enjoy the employees on a personal basis. Uh, today's the one day we can do that. Um, other than that, I wanted to also wish our Jewish residents out there a big happy Hanukkah. Uh, yesterday, Thursday, was uh, day one of the menorah lighting, and our own resident uh, Judy Emmett, along with her friends, are having a menorah lighting at 6 p.m., so they would love you to come join, whether you are celebrating Hanukkah or not. Um, Judy and her group do a really, really nice job trying to uh, spread the uh, Jewish cheer throughout the, you know, throughout the holiday and throughout the year. So again, 6 p.m., uh, the menorah lighting. Also, a big day yesterday was uh, Pearl Harbor. I think it was, uh, I don't know what anniversary it was, but uh, in 1941 on this day, uh, the Japanese bombed um, the U.S. in Hawaii and Pearl Harbor. So that is why the flag was at half staff yesterday. It was a United States proclamation. And again, thanks to Jim Jondro and all of the veterans that uh, manage that within the committee. Um, that is why the flag was down and uh, a really rough day in American history yesterday. So did want to mention it, though. Um, next on the list, I'm going to save that until I get back uh, to wrap everything up. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Again, thanks for tuning in. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hello and happy second day of Hanukkah Villagers. Ashley Miller here, your Director of Resident Services, and I hope you all have had a wonderful week this week. Some updates from the Wellness Center. We'll have Guardian Pharmacy on campus Monday and Wednesday from 9 to 12 p.m. The medication cycle for December 13th will be for Tower D. We have some really exciting wellness events coming up this week. Of course, we have Life Transitions with Dr. Connie Williams. That will be in A6 on Tuesday at 2 p.m. Auditory Training Group will meet in the Wellness Center on Tuesday as well at 10 a.m. To join, please call 904-501-2280. I am extremely excited for and would like to invite you all to our next Wellness Wednesday event. Madison will be presenting on Parkinson's and the benefits of outpatient therapy. It will be held in the outpatient therapy gym on Wednesday, December 13th at 3.30. Please contact me, space will be limited in the outpatient therapy gym and I'd like to make space for everyone. So contact me to reserve your spot. Our next Stay Well lecture will be held on December 14th at 1215 in the OMR. This will be our second offering of our fall prevention course hosted by Concierge Care and our special guest speaker, Marsha Green. We're looking forward to having a big turnout at the second go round. Our next breakfast and BPs will be held in the Wellness Center on December 15th. Cindy from IHS will be taking blood pressures and IHS will also be sponsoring our delicious breakfast. Can't wait to see you all there. And just a reminder, we'll be consistently moving our breakfast and BPs to the first and third Fridays of every month moving forward. And a daily dose of wellness. As we approach this year's winter solstice, the shortest day of the year on December 21st, I want to remind you to all be kind to yourself. It's very easy to veer off our normal routines this time of year, especially with these short days and daylight savings. Remember that some movement is better than none at all and every bit counts. 
capitalize on the opportunities to take a few extra steps a day and maybe even invite a friend to take a walk around the community to enjoy the Christmas lights going up. Small victories lead to winning the war. Enjoy every bit of daylight you have today. I hope you all have a blessed weekend and I'll see you around the village. Good morning, Cypress Village. Uh, welcome to another edition of Coffee Chat with security. Uh, I got a couple of updates for you. Um, first thing has to do with our, our locks, um, the wonderful deadbolts that everybody has. They're very helpful. They're very secure. Um, sometimes they have a, a, a propensity to be too secure. Um, so if your batteries are uh, going low, we need to come around and change them. You would know this uh, when the lock is blinking red as opposed to green or if you're having any other major issues with your lock, uh, please let security know and we'll be around to try and uh, ascertain the issue and maybe we'll just reprogram your lock and fix things that way. Um, so just let us let us know if you have any issues like that. Um, if it's a normal, you know, everyday use and you don't have issues, you're good to go. But if you're seeing that red blinking lock when you try to uh, stick your key in, uh, it's time to change the batteries. Um, additionally, parking committee will be meeting on December 18th. Uh, after that, we are going to uh, be issuing stickers, so look forward to seeing that um, probably after the holidays, um, but we're going to be meeting to discuss uh, who gets what and how those um, new roles will, will be taken care of, so that's coming up soon. Uh, if you're on the second floor of the parking garage, uh, we have that exit ramp that is for cars only. Um, if you're walking down that ramp, you cannot be seen by a car right away, so there's a really high chance of getting hit by that car, so please uh, refrain from going down that ramp. Um, we do have a pedestrian ramp. You can go down that, or you can use a stairwell, um, but just, just so you know, we, we, uh, you know not, cars can't necessarily see you right away, especially in certain lights and certain lighting scenarios. The last thing is uh, Securitas, our outside vendor for fixing security tickets and, and, and repairs to homes and apartments. Um, they have a big backlog, so uh, they've actually been sending a new, an, an additional tech. Um, so we're trying to catch up. Um, the uh, the full-time tech that comes on Mondays and Fridays has been really working out for us, so we've been able to knock some of those out, um, but just be patient with us as they try to catch up. There was a, a large amount of uh, tickets outstanding, so we're trying to get that all caught up. So uh, just be patient and uh, it'll, be ha it'll be done soon. Good morning, Cypress Village. Welcome to another edition of Coffee Chat. We're getting closer to the end of the year, so this is one of the last ones for this year of 2023. Um, I do want to touch on one very important matter we've been talking about the pool area and the mats that we've been conversating about with a few residents and i i just want to let everybody know that i did take the initiative to put some mats down in the air pool area as well as the showers i do want to remind everyone the best choice for safety everyone is wearing the proper shoe wear please i just want to remind everyone that during these holidays we get a lot of shipping and presents and boxes, so please just be mindful and remember not to throw the boxes down the chute. You can place them in the trash room. My team will gladly come get them and dispose of them correctly. I want to, I want to remind everybody about our awesome breakfast this morning, our Christmas breakfast that we do every year, but also remember that at the Loon's Nest, um, Ahmed will be making some great omelets for everybody. They're amazing. I've tried them myself. Um, and with that being said, the word of the week is going to be desayuno, desayuno, which is breakfast in Spanish. All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a great weekend. See you around the village. Good morning, Cypress Village. I'm Dawn Epstein, the Director of Innovative Home Services. Again, we have many concierge services for you. These are signature concierge services just provided by IHS. So the holiday season I know can be stressful for a lot of us. We have shopping, we have holiday parties, dinners, um, we're hosting events. So let us take the stress out of the holidays for you. So you can reach out to us. We can assist you with holiday decorating. There's been a good response to that service. 
We can help with the shopping. We can help with the gift wrapping, um, prepping for any type of meal. We can even, if a loved one wants to go to a family member's house, might need a little assistance while they're there, we can go with them and provide that assistance as well. So reach out to us and let us make the holidays easier for you. Um, so also I wanted to say Happy Hanukkah to those who celebrate and happy holidays to all of you. Um, have a great weekend and I'll see you around the village. Hello villagers. Uh, I am Josh Stapp. I'm the admin over in the maintenance building. I just have a couple quick things for you this time. Uh, so on the 18th, we're going to have uh, construction going on with AC units. So eight new AC units are going to be put in the C building. So we're going to have you guys not park in front of the train lobby. Um, Mr. Dave and Mr. Scott will give you more details next week um, on exactly where you can't park and how long the construction is going to be going on for. The hot water. The hot water should be fixed completely. So if you're having any issue, any issues with the hot water, please uh, call maintenance so we can figure out exactly what's going on. But as far as we know, all hot water has been taken care of. There should not be any more outages, shouldn't be any low pressure. Everything, as far as we know, is 100% working. The new service elevator. Uh, we are getting a new elevator on January 19th. Uh, we still don't have a set date for when it will be installed, but the elevators will be on property January 19th. So we'll be for that. And then the C-wing doors in front of the train lobbies, that should be taken care of uh, as of Friday uh, the 8th. So everyone's uh, key fob should be working for you to get into the C lobby. Uh, Merry Christmas and... <laughs> Merry Christmas. Good morning, Cypress Village. I'm Tim Curtis, Transportation Supervisor. I'm here to talk a little bit about our transportation services today here at Cypress Village. Not just transportation that supports scheduled activities and outings, but the personalized tour round trip transportation Monday through Friday between the hours of 8 and 4 within a 10 mile radius to any of your medical appointments including dental, hearing, and vision. We'll also try to accommodate banking, drugstore requests, as well as a, attorney and account, uh, accountant appointments. If you are a veteran, we'll transfer to any Jacksonville area VA. We'll pick you up at your home or the tower, whichever is applicable, and take you to your appointment and then return you home. The drivers will call you the late afternoon before as a reminder or a courtesy confirmation of your appointment the following day. We'll provide courtesy shuttles from throughout the community to your doctor, dentist, or any other medical related professionals here in the towers, including the salon, also for other activities or connections on campus. Our mission is to greet you with a smile, provide you a safe, comfortable, engaging, value-added experience in a clean, sanitized environment. We do ask that you do follow the driver's instructions and direction to ensure structure and safety. We have our buses and vans professionally washed and detailed quarterly. Uh, our drivers keep them swept and maintained for you after that. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call, 904-803-2809, and we hope you'll give us a chance and try out our services. Thank you. Good morning, villagers. It's Lisa Drew, your CLS director, coming to you on the second Friday of December already. Um, happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah is starting, well, today. It started yesterday, if you're seeing this now. Um, so today, we've got a couple symphony trips, the coffee series this morning, and tonight, I have to consult my calendar, is the Pops. Also tonight, um, there's a Naval Order dinner in Egret Hall. So that is why there is no music tonight in Egret Hall. Um, but we will be back next week with the Jingle Bell bash there's still a few spots open if you haven't signed up it's going to be a really fun time 
Um, so Saturday, we've got the Hawkins School of Highland Dance. Those of you who came out to the ballet a couple of weeks ago um, really enjoyed it, and I think you're going to really enjoy these kids. They travel the world competing. It's Celtic dance, and they are coming to put on a Christmas show for you. Um, that's tomorrow at 11 o'clock in Egret Hall, and then tomorrow evening um, at 5.30, Gather in the main lobby for the Hanukkah celebration, which was arranged by Judy Emmett with Rabbi Dime. Uh, the ceremony will start at 6 o'clock. Um, it says 5.30 on the calendar, so you can all kind of gather and mingle beforehand. Um, so come on out to that and enjoy a day of Hanukkah. And then tomorrow night at 6.30, the Artist Connection Theater performance of White Christmas. Um, we'll be leaving here at 6.30 to go to that. We've still got quite a few tickets left to that. Um, so if you want to get out and go to the theater Saturday night, uh, give us a call. Um, and then on Sunday and Monday, the annual chorus concerts. Your Cypress Village Chorus has been rehearsing for months. I heard them the other day. They really sound nice. So Sunday night and Monday night at 7 p.m. in Egret Hall. Be sure you come and get in the mood for the holiday season with their performance. Um, on the 12th, we have, there's a lot going on next week. So on the 12th, we have the director of the Mosh Planetarium, um, Eddie Whistler, he's coming to talk to us about um, all of those advances that are happening in space. Some of you may have heard Eddie on the radio. He loves to talk about our amazing universe. So come out for that. It's going to be great. He's really looking forward to coming back to Cypress Village. So that's on the 12th at 1.30 in Egret Hall. Then on the 13th, we're going to the Arboretum for Dazzling Nights. I believe that sold out. Um, I was told by a resident that the paths in the Ar Arboretum can be kind of dark, um, but that the show was beautiful. So I hope that you um, will go and just be careful on those paths um, and have a great time. I will not be going. <laughs> For those of you who aren't going to the Arboretum, uh, Don Minyard will be here in Egret Hall to play for you. Um, then on the 14th, we have the Jingle Bell Walk for Parkinson's. Um, that is something that Deb Gowen, our new fitness coordinator, is spearheading. And that will be a, um, a small charity event for Parkinson's. Um, we're going to have jingle bells that you can rent for $10, um, and it's all going to go to the Parkinson's Foundation. You'll, we'll just do it all there in the main lobby, and we're going to leave the main lobby to walk at 2 o'clock, and we'll walk around the circle. And then that evening, we're going to It's a Wonderful Life at the Island Theater, which is kind of far away. Um, so if you want to sign up for that, please do, because um, we have to leave by 6.15 on the dot. And then on the 14th, we have something that I've been looking forward to. That's our Cypress Village Authors Book Fair. We have a lot of writers here. A lot of them have published books. And so we're going to gather them all together in the main lobby for you on the 14th. That's going to be from ah, 11 to 2. <laughs> and you can come down, you can buy the book, you can talk to the writers about their, um, about their process, how, how did they get started writing. It's just going to be a really nice time for writers and readers. So come on down to the main lobby for that on the 14th at 11 o'clock. Then on the 15th, my favorite, the Jingle Bell Bash. It will be from 5 to 8. Dinner is from 5 to 7. Dancing and music is from 6 to 8. 
So those of you who want to come down and just have a nice dinner and not uh, deal with a big, fun, raucous party, you can come down and eat um, at 5. Those of you who want the full-on dinner and dancing, um, come on down at 6 o'clock. Um, we are going to send out a notice that we want you to come by the um, the office and get a wristband for this event so that we can eliminate that long line of checking people in which we had um, at the uh, veterans dinner that was a 30 minute line because we had to get 150 people in so we're trying something different so be on the lookout for that okay all right that's it have a good weekend Hello Cypress Village, this is Laurel Mundell, Director of Administrative Services. I want to start out very quickly to talk about the automatic in-sync door locks <clears throat> excuse me, that are on all of the apartments and many of the house doors. These electronic lights are battery operated and the light will blink red once your batteries are starting to die in the lock. This will only happen when you're going to turn, it, uh, turn the key in or off to lock or unlock. It will not just flash throughout the day, for example. So if you notice at all a red light or if you're experiencing any kind of issue with your door lock, please put in a work order through maintenance for security or a maintenance technician to come take a look at your lock. Uh, changing the batteries before they're fully dead will prevent the lock from closing on itself uh, and it makes it difficult then to get into the lock after the fact. We have a couple battery packs that we're able to plug into the lock in the event it fully dies so I don't want you to be worried about that um, but just in the event it, this is going to help the process be a lot smoother if you catch the battery is dying ahead of time. Like I said, please place a work order through maintenance and a member of security or the maintenance team will come out to replace those batteries. Thank you. Then the app. I was so impressed and amazed by the number of residents who came to our first session earlier this week. Lots of great questions. Um, but one of the things I learned was that it's going to be very helpful for me to have just a 30 minute one-on-one -on -one session with anybody who's having trouble downloading or logging into their app for the first time. So for the next meeting that we have on the 19th, the general session will start at 9 a.m. as scheduled, but I will be there 30 minutes prior, starting at 8.30 a.m. for anybody who wants one-on-one -on -one assistance with downloading the app or logging in. So starting at 8.30 in Egret Hall, I will be there to assist. I hope that will make it a lot smoother. And like I said, for those of you who attended the first session and want to come back the second time just to hear it all again, by all means, you are welcome. And we'll make sure that there are more chairs this time so that we can accommodate the huge crowd that we had, which was fantastic. Likewise, we'll have our tech ambassadors available and a handful of staff members to also assist as we go throughout the presentation. Um, also in that meeting, the focus will be mainly on the content available in the app. So it's not going to be so much troubleshooting. So like I said, save the troubleshooting for before. And then I'll also have a, um, a few sessions where I can do one-on-one -on -one assistance down the road. The old Cypress Village app is going to go offline effective December 22nd. Currently, there is uh, the forms available for you to put in the request. That's fine. Those will keep working. But I just want you to know that none of the other content is going to be updated or managed so that all the employees can focus solely on the new app right now. Um, for those of you who are in, please look around, play with it. Um, there's nothing, no harm in sending messages. Just if you want to see if it's working from there, you can send emails or text messages directly from your app. Um, it, it links to phone numbers and email addresses right there. So that's a very convenient feature to have. And then as a reminder again, my um, next workshop is December 19th at 9 a.m. in Egret Hall. That's all I have for you this week. Have a great day and I'll see you around the village. All right, hello everybody. It's Hector Gonzalez coming from Katie Amador's office. We've moved locations. So just a couple updates for Coffee Chat. There's a lot going on, but just I only have a couple updates right now. Um, first thing is, is uh, Jingle, Bear, Jingle Bell Bash next week. Is it next week, Katie? Friday, Friday next week. Um, we will not, because we, we need to set up and everything for it, it's going to be in Loon's Nest and Egret Hall. We will not be hosting happy hour, 
So the bar will not be open from four to five. And, you know, we need to get ready for our residents to come in. Uh, we are serving a prime rib dinner. It's beautiful if you've signed up. I think it's pretty much full at this point. But for all of those of you that have signed up, it's going to be a beautiful night, beautiful meal. Lisa's got some uh, great in entertainment planned, and Chef's got a great uh, buffet planned. Um, so the food will be served for Jingle Bell, Bell Bash from 5 to 7, and the band will be playing from 6 to 8, dance floor, all the, all the bells and whistles. So looking forward to that. It was a great turnout last year. Everybody had a great time. So um, uh, can't wait to see you there. Um, Best news ever, our chef de cuisine, Shandrea, I don't know if all of y'all know that she's been out, but she has been out for some very good reasons uh, for the past couple months. So Chef John has been towing the line. Uh, poor guy hasn't had much time off, if any, in the last couple months uh, filling in for Shandrea. She is back Tuesday. So for the first time in many, many months, we are back strong in the kitchen. We hired a cook today, he started today, so we will have both of our sous chefs and executive chef back in the kitchen, which is going to make a huge difference um, as far as execution, being able to just, you know, do the things we do. So um, welcome Shandrea back if you see her around the community. We're very, very excited. Last time I saw her come through, she looks great. Um, she's eager to get back. She misses everybody. So um, just say hey when you see her. And that's all I have. Have a great day and a great weekend. we got the big breakfast tomorrow morning. Don't forget about that. Thanks. Bye. All right. I'm back. And again, um, as always, my famous line, I hope uh, today has been very productive and informative to our residents because that is our ultimate goal to reach as many residents as possible one way or another to keep them updated on what's going on at Cypress Village. So I've just got a couple more points to wrap up. Um, next week, we have a very, uh, I would say, important community meeting. If you can't make it in person, I would um, advise that at some point you watch a recording or tune in live. My understanding is Laurel and the IT team have the live simulcast back up and working, so that's great news. But a community meeting December 12th, Tuesday at 10 a.m. in Egret Hall, we are going to be discussing the preferred choice dining initiative that we have coming f end of first quarter uh, 2024. A lot of information, a lot of exciting things coming up. I've told some residents and uh, colleagues that we are literally going to condense probably 15 years worth of ideas, uh, vision, thoughts um, on what we can do to improve dining here at Cypress Village, make it more restaurant a la minute table service, a lot of the areas, uh, hotter food, a lot of the areas that were um, alluded to in the survey that were not necessarily positive, I think we are going to be able to really, really make a big impact positively on the community with this preferred choice dining. So please tune in on that. And I do want to say one more thing about that. There have been a lot of rumors going around about preferred dining. I want all of the residents to know that what we are presenting is still not 100% confirmed. We needed a baseline. We wanted to be transparent. We wanted resident input. We wanted resident advisory guidance before we finalize. This will not go live until March 1st. So again, thank you for uh, bringing yourself up to speed on that. And please don't let the rumor mill cause any concerns. This is going to be ultra positive for the community overall. Um, resident recognition. I always uh, like to recognize residents out there just like residents recognize our staff on a weekly basis. And this week it's going to go out to a Miss Rhoda Booten. Uh, Rhoda was tasked with um, collaborating with Ashley Miller and resident services for really giving us a point person at the Mayo Clinic for volunteer services. Apparently Mayo has a shortage of volunteers and they're looking for uh, some volunteer opportunities. So during our wellness fair, um, which is upcoming soon in January, uh, Mayo Clinic will have a booth here. So anybody that is interested in potentially participating in some support volunteer services at Mayo, you're gonna have a perfect opportunity to do so. And again, Rhoda, thank you for uh, making that happen.
and Ashley Miller for that matter. Thank you both. Last but not least, I'm going to roll into birthdays, uh, my favorite time. And today is the 8th. Um, I do want to go back one day because uh, we had some big birthdays on those days. We had uh, a big birthday for Dr. Wawi Lee. Uh, Dr. Lee, happy birthday to you. That was on the 7th uh, yesterday. Mr. Phil Hiscock. Phil, known each other for a long time. Happy birthday to you, my friend. New resident, Mr. Roger Phelps. He's a popular guy around town. Happy birthday to you, Roger. And Miss Virginia Meadows. Virginia, happy birthday to you as well on the 7th. So um, we've only got one birthday gal out there today on the 8th, and her name is Miss Norma Randall. Norma, happy birthday to you, the sole birthday resident in the village. We only have two on the 9th. We've got Mr. Arthur Wilt Wildman. And Leonard Warner, happy birthday to you two gentlemen. On the 12th, none on the 10th or the 11th, so I'm going to jump to the 12th. And we've got Miss Teresa Davies and Suzanne Shutters. Happy birthday, Teresa and Suzanne. And I'm going to cap it off on the 13th, and we are going to hit Miss Mays Barnett and also Kathleen Park. Happy birthday to you two ladies. So, residents, that is going to cap off another... Virtual coffee chat. Again, happy holidays to everybody. Hope you're enjoying the episode. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.